All new at 10, welcome to Niederland. This sprawling sign on Boston Avenue has everybody talking. For some, it's the spelling. Yes, like it is behind mm -hmm. us. And for others, it's the cost. And not everyone thinks this was the right move to make. 12 News reporter Jordan James joins us live with more on the social media debate. Dejani, construction is still underway of this arch right behind me. This past weekend, someone noticed that one of the ends was backwards and it sparked debate about why this is even being built in the first place. Near the corner of Boston Avenue and Twin City Highway, you'll find what has become the talk of the town. Some people are happy, some people are not. Look closely, the spelling of welcome and the phrase welcome to Nederland comes across as odd at first glance. I see it all on Facebook. Uh, there's negativity, there's positivity. Uh, I, I believe in the positivity. But Nederland's Economic Development Corporation says it's a tribute to the city's Dutch roots. The EDC director, Kay DeQueer, hopes it brings more revenue to the town. It's an attraction that will bring more people downtown. And hopefully as they're walking down the street or visiting, then they'll, they'll say, hey, you know, I didn't know this store was here. The $180,000 project was paid for by sale taxes from local businesses. Money some say should have gone towards drainage improvements and infrastructure. But James Vanderveer says the city did the right thing. I think it reflects the uh, heritage here in Nederland, Texas, and uh, this, this community was settled by the Dutch. And uh, I, I just think it's a wonderful uh, addition. Along with the installation of the LED gateway sign, murals will also be painted to reflect the city's history. Until then, the queer is asking for patience from the community. I really think uh, it will not be an eyesore. I think it's going to be a blessing. People just have to give it the chance to, to get completed. For those of you wondering, the backwards letter has been corrected. It was fixed this morning. The project is expected to be completed by the end of the month, weather permitting. For now, reporting here live in Nederland, Jordan James, 12 News.